now let us discuss about passing parameters to parameters to functions in javascript in javascript so how we can pass parameters to function in javascript so we have two approaches the first one is pass by value pass by value uh, the second approach is pass by reference so first let us see about uh, pass by value uh, let us define a function why because here we need to pass parameter to the function so function let name of the function is add let the parameters here are uh, uh, some x comma y x comma y so let us perform some operations x is equal to x plus 10 next to y is equal to y is equal to y plus 20 20 so outside the function let us have uh, uh, two variables with the same name x and y let the value of x is 1 and the value of y is 1 so now display x and y values before the function call so document dot write h1 so before calling the function so before before add function call before you add function call uh, display x and y x is equal to display x value uh, and then display y value and and uh, and display y value so y is equal to display y value so plus y close the header tag if you use header tag then the content will be displayed in uh, bolder font styles okay close the header tag so before you add function call yes x is equal to plus x and y is equal to plus y plus okay so let us copy this statement uh, we need to paste this line uh, two more times now let us call the functions let us call the function add of pass the parameters x comma y okay now let us display the output after you add function call after you add function call display the values of x and y after you add function call Next, in function call also, display the values. In add function, display x and y. Now, let us analyze the program. Uh, here, uh, uh, the code execution starts from uh, the statement onwards. x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1. Before you add function call, what is x value? 1 will be printed. And what is y value? 1 will be printed. Okay. Next, you add off x comma y. So, whenever here... Uh, uh, this is nothing but pass by value approach. So normal variables are passed by value approach. So what is x value? 1. So now that 1 will be passed to this x. And what is y value? Uh, let, us, uh, let us make y as 2. Uh, so and the 2 will be passed to y. So now x contains 1, y contains 2. x is equal to x plus 10. So now x will become 1 plus 10. That is 11. Next y will become uh, 2 plus 20 that is 22 in the add function call what is x value now 11 and what is y value 22 will get gets printed and after that control comes to the next statement after the function call after the add function call what is x now is it 11 or 1 what is y value is it 2 or 22 this is the problem with pass by value or call by value so if you pass any value then if you do any modifications in the function definition, then those modifications will not be reflected on the function call. Actually, we did some modification on x and y. So initially in function call, x is 1 and y is 2. Whereas in function definition, we modified those values. x is 11 and y is 22. But those two modifications will not be reflected on the function call. This is the problem with the call by value. So if you display x and y after the function call, then also we will get output as x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1. Now let us see the program execution. Let us see the program execution. Uh, some error is there. So let us identify that error. So param.html. Okay. What is the name of the file? Param only. So function, uh, add x comma y. x is equal to x plus 10. Next y is equal to y plus 20 document dot write off h1 in add function x is equal to 
dx to plus x plus and y is equal to plus y plus and then we close the function. Uh, next, uh, yeah, script is uh, yeah, perfectly closed. x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2. Document dot right ln. Yeah, here we didn't close this. Right parenthesis as well as semicolon. Now let us save the program and do the execution. Do the execution. So before you add function card, x value is 1, y value is 2. In the add function, x is 11 and y is 22. So in the function call, we modified the values of x and y. But those values, but those changes will not be reflected in the function call. But if you display x and y after the function call, then 1 and 2 will be displayed. This is the problem with call by value. In order to overcome this problem, we use just pass by reference. Arrays are always passed by reference. Okay. So now instead of normal variables, we need to take array. So where or we can assign directly also a is equal to 10 comma, 20 comma, 30 comma, 40 comma, 50. Next before, before, before function call. Okay. Yeah. Before, before function call. Before function call. Before function call. Let us display a value before function call. Values of values of array a r array r array a r. So a array means a. So plus a plus. Okay, and then we close with the h1 tag. So before function call values of array a r uh, uh, values of a array r plus a plus, and then call the function. Control C call the function. Let name of the function is, uh, uh, let us assume that uh, add is the function, uh, uh, add is the function uh, name. So, add of a. So, control goes to the function definition. Uh, let us pass a values to x. Now, let us modify the a value. Let us multiply with 2. So, for i, for where i in a, let us multiply with 2. So, a of i is equal to, so each element of the array is multiplied by 2 a of i is equal to a of i into 2. Now let us uh, do the displaying. Displaying. In function call. In function call, display the values. In function call, display the values. And after the function call. After the function call. Display. Display the output. So after function call. After function call. After function call. Okay. So, if you want, uh, yeah, here instead of x, uh, let us give you as a. It is our choice. We can give you as x also. There is no problem. Okay. So, now what will happen? Initially, array a values are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Before function call, values of a are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 will be printed. Next, you add of a. So, control goes to the add function definition. Each element of the array is multiplied by 2. So, in function call, values of array a are so, what is the output now? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 will be printed. And after that, control comes to the next statement after the function call. After you add function, yeah, there is no need of this statement. So, let us remove this statement. After function call, after function call, values of A are. Here, this is, arrays are always passed by reference. So, if we do any modification on function definition, then those modifications will be reflected in function call also. So, here the values of A are multiplied by 2. So, those values will also be reflected here. So, after function call, A values will become 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So, this is the advantage of the pass by reference. If you see here, before function call, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. In function call, in function call or function definition, it is better to write it as uh, in function definition. So, this is what? I am sorry, this is function definition. In function definition. In function definition. So, in function definition. Let us use one more. Right? In function definition. So, in function definition, values of array are, each value is multiplied by 2. Next, after function call also, values of the array are 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So, what is the major advantage of pass by reference? 
If we do any modifications in function definition, then those modifications will be reflected after the function call also. Okay. So the, the, these are the two approaches which we use in order to pass parameters to the functions in JavaScript.